Welcome back, Seth Bling here. Today I'm going to show you a new version of Minesweeper in Minecraft I've created. Uh, this one is a little bit different from my previous versions in that I used an MC Edit filter to make it, and so consequently I was able to make it much larger. This is actually probably bigger than any game you, you've ever played of Minesweeper. It's 100 by 100, and uh, it takes quite a while <laughs> to beat this game. Uh, if you want to know how many mines there are in this field, just open up your inventory and you can see all the flags. It's uh, a layer of snow is, is what I'm using as a flag here. Each one of these flags corresponds to a mine in the field. So <laughs> if you do beat this game, you may be playing it for a while. Um, the way it works is different materials represent different numbers. When you have gravel like this, it means there are no adjacent mines. And you can actually see that because on your hotbar there's gravel. If you select it, it says zero adjacent. You can even look and say, see it says no adjacent mines. So stone means one adjacent. There's one mine adjacent, either uh, right next to it or diagonally. Uh, iron block means two. Gold block means three. Emerald four. Diamond five. And obsidian six. And then you use the snow layers to flag mines. And you can use a sweeper to dig up snow where there isn't a mine. So, for instance, uh, stone here, we'll recall, means one adjacent. So, I know that there is a mine here, because this is the only spot adjacent that isn't explored. So I'll flag it with some snow. Similarly, iron means two, and so that must mean there's one here, so that there's two next to this one. Uh, there can't be a mine here, because this stone means one, and there's already one next to it. So there can't be one here or here, so I use my sweeper to get rid of that. Sweeper has unbreaking level 100, so it's not gonna. It's gonna take quite a while to uh, to make that run out. But you get another one in your inventory. There's a chest over here that has a bunch more sweepers and food, in case you need those. Um, yeah, so you just continue playing, uh, you know, Minesweeper, like you would normally. Here's what's emerald is uh, four adjacent, so I found one four adjacent, and it's quite large. <laughs> Uh, you start out with a pretty big surface area of, of uh, explored territory. I, I, uh, I, I made this one, um, I made this area get cleared out so that you have somewhere to begin. Uh, the nice thing about it is that if you do happen to find an area with zeros, uh, it, it actually clears away the entire area all at once. So if I had dug one of these out, it would actually clear out all the gravel. It doesn't clear out all the stone and whatever next uh, next to it, so you have to do that manually, but it will clear out all the gravel itself and uh, automatically. So I had to use an MC Edit filter to do this because uh, there is floating gravel when you start the game, and there's, you know, there's snow on top of that and whatever. Uh, w when you have a mine, it's going to make some sand drops, so let's see, let's see if I can find a mine and uh, I'm actually going to put myself in creative mode for this because otherwise I will die. <laughs> so I know there has to be a mine here because it's the only one adjacent here, so if you dig this away there's going to be some sand that falls and to ignite some TNT that's next to a redstone block and basically a lot of TNT goes off and it keeps igniting them in the chain and it's just going to keep going for quite a while. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so it clears itself out if you lose, and uh, maybe I shouldn't be showing this to you so you'll, you don't get spoilers. Anyway, uh, yeah, you see so you can play it. Like I said, there are a lot of mines here. There's, I think, something like 1,800 uh, mines, and you have one flag for each mine. So, there you go. <laughs> That's my, uh, this is my third version of Minesweeper in Minecraft, and you can download the map from the link in the video description. Woo! <laughs> uh, and play it for yourself. And if you screw up, just um, load it up again and and uh, and you can try again. But you'll want to keep multiple copies if you want to play it multiple times. Or just unzip it again from the zip file. Anyway, that's about it. Thanks for watching.